Alright, I'm just going to go over quickly how to export a VTF from Photoshop that's ready for use as a buy picture in Counter-Strike Source. Uh, we're going to need a couple of plugins for Photoshop in order to do this. First thing we're going to need is the VTF export plugin, which can be found on NEMS Tools webpage. And it will work with Adobe Photoshop 6 and up. And then the other thing we're going to need is a is a plugin from flamingpair.com, or well, more specifically, a group of plugins, which is under the free plugins. Download at uh, flamingpair.com under the download section. So just pick that up, and once you have those installed, go ahead and start Photoshop. first thing we're going to do here is open up the image. Uh, I don't have a uh, buy render prepared, an actual render, so I just uh, cut out an image and did a poor job of doing that at that, and uh, I'm just going to use that. So the first thing I need to do here is change the image size to make sure that it is a power of 2. This is how I'm going to do that. Alright, now that's all changed. Hold down control, click on the picture of the layer, and that will select everything that is transparent in the layer. Once you've done that, go to the Channels tab, and click the Save Selection as Channel button. That will save it as an alpha channel, which will make your image transparent. Now what you want to do is make sure layer 0 is selected. Go to the fl uh, filter menu, go to the flaming pair submenu, and use one of the solidify filters. Doesn't matter which one you use, they all do basically the same thing. They do it in slightly different ways, but what this is supposed to do is prevent there from being any uh, white halos around the weapon when you um, when you put it in game. Uh, there probably still will be a white halo around this one because uh, I did a poor cutout job on it. But if you did your uh, render correctly, you should head, you shouldn't run into any of those kind of problems with this. Now go to save as, and we're going to go to file type here, format, VTF. I'm going to save it as AK47. VTF. Make sure uh, save alpha channels is checked. Click save. Select a template uncompressed texture with alpha. I'm going to turn off the filter, deselect the maps and thumbnail, check anisotropic, nice filter, and also check no mip map and no level of detail. Click OK. Alright, we are done in here. And all you want to do is copy this ak47.vtf to the proper directory here in Counter-Strike Source. And there you have it. You could start the game now and check to make sure that everything has worked as it should, which I will do. I'll show you what it looks like in game. All right, well, I hope this helped out here, and uh, happy rendering. All right, there you have it. The uh, result of our actions in-game. Uh, you can see that it does have a slight border around it. That's because uh, it was a bad cut job, and I shouldn't have probably shouldn't have used the picture 
an actual picture of the weapon as a render. But since I didn't have one handy, that's what I did. Yours will, of course, look better as long as you did it right. Anyway, I hope this helped out.